Humans are born small, weak, and helpless. We're cursed with natural predators called parents. And that's why the grandma was created to protect us. Oh, sure, she's old and frail, but she can kick your dad's ass. <laughs> Stand over here with Grandma and watch. Where are you, boy? This is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you. <laughs> right, it hurt him more. <laughs> but when your grandma dies, your mom has to protect you from your father. Unless she's a paranoid schizophrenic, and then she can't because she's too busy protecting you from the angry, overworked people of Glorcar 7. Not to be confused with the gay juggling people of Glorcar 6. I don't want to go to school in a bubble. It'll protect you from the virus that eats your eyeballs from the inside. Okay. <laughs> Look out for that! We all have that person in our family who when you get a phone call at 3 a.m. from the police, oh, you know it's about them. I have seven of those people in my family, and they're all my mom. <laughs> Mr. Titus, Christopher, Troublemaker, Mr. Wells, Buttwipe, Principal. Sorry, Principal Buttwipe. <laughs> Ow! I won't have it. I won't have a crazy lady running around in my high school. I want her out of here, now. As in now! I get it. So where's my mom at? Oh! Hey, who wants to wash my back? That's not my mom, that's my grandma, who's supposed to be dead. Chrissy, give grandma a hug. Oh! said you were dead. Well, he told me you were dead, too. Well, he said you passed on in your sleep 13 years ago that it was peaceful and beautiful. Oh, he told me that, that you fell into a bonfire and stumbled into a tide pool and were torn to bits by rats and beach crabs. <laughs> well, that happened, but I didn't die. And the rats carried most of your body out to sea. That's how I want to go. A noble Viking rat funeral. <laughs> you know, my dad never lies. It's a matter of integrity. You know, he, he believes that lying hurts people in the long run. And that telling them the cold, hard, bitter truth hurts them instantly. And he gets to see the look on their face. He especially likes this one. <sighs> it makes him laugh. Try molester. Yeah, and I'm gonna fill your stocking full of whoop ash, you little brat. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see you again, Grandma Titus, but why were you in the boys' locker room? Oh, I'm one of the teachers here. No, 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 Grandma. You used to teach here. Just like this, what did I teach, home ec? <laughs> <laughs> Alzheimer's. A disease marked by the progressive loss of mental capacity. One minute you're making breakfast for your grandkids, the next minute you're holding pancakes up to your ears and going, hey, did these go with my house coat? <laughs> hey, the good thing is someone in my family finally has an excuse for acting crazy. <laughs> and grandma, the pancakes, <laughs> a little busy. Do you remember me, Mrs. Titus? Of course, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> Have you found a nice young man to settle down with? <laughs> I'm not gay. Oh. <laughs> then you're not the Tommy I knew. Uh, it's a horrible disease. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Grandma, you should get dressed. Okay. Oh. oh, no, 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 not here. No, no, no. In the locker room, okay? We'll wait out here. And Grandma, hey, don't give those boys any more free shows. I should have charged them. <laughs> You know, you're the best grandson, no. uh, I guess. I, 
I don't know you from Adam. <laughs> Who's Adam? Did we have another brother? <laughs> yeah, Dave, we had another brother. He was a Siamese twin. You were separated at birth, and now he works at a freak show. I knew it. Appendix scar my ass. <laughs> My grandma and I used to do fun stuff together. Like give my dad heart attacks. We got to see him make that face. We especially like this one. It made us laugh. Why, God, why? What happened? Oh, Kenneth, he drowned. I looked away for a second. Christopher! <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Dude, what's taking her so long? She's old, man. You know, they have a lot of things to put back. They could folding, tucking, stapling. <laughs> and she's insane. No, she was never like this before. Yeah, she's got old timers. <laughs> no, she just really, really likes being naked. Chapter gets small. Three seconds. Two, one. It's up here. He shoots. Oh. <laughs> Titus, do you know where your grandmother is? Oh, yes, she's in the locker room getting dressed. False. She's chased off Mrs. Parsons and is in there teaching American history. <laughs> I didn't sign up to work with the elderly. Ow, ow. I want her out. Or what, you're gonna send me to the principal's office? False. I'll have her arrested. Ha, <laughs> ha, you're not gonna have some old lady arrested. <laughs> you know, this? doesn't work on me anymore. Okay, we'll get on it. <laughs> Part. <laughs> High school principals. In school, they teach you to spell that word by saying the principal is your pal. <laughs> what a crock. K-R-O-C-K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christopher Titus. Hey. <laughs> Dude, <it wasn't> me. <laughs> George Washington crossed the Delaware River to get to the horse. Yeah, Delaware is famous for its horse. Bingo! <laughs> oh, come on, Grandma. These kids have drugs to sell and sex to have. Let's go. <laughs> oh, who are you? Do you have a pass? Uh, well, I'm Christopher, Grandma, your grandson. Oh, my grandson. <laughs> oh, then I love you. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> now listen up. Most important member of President Kennedy's cabinet was the guy who scored the whores. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. No, no. Kennedy never paid for it. Oh, Kennedy. He was a damn good looking man. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no. See, I only know that because I was almost president of the American History Club. But no, Ellen Burke looked better in a loincloth. But just barely. <laughs> oh. Can I be the best president of the American History Club ever? No matter who I run against, I'm gonna whomp them. Not bad man, good man, grandson. My grandson is dead. I am your grandson. So you're dead? <laughs> I'm obviously alive. Oh, then you're not my grandson. <laughs> Look. You're dead, but you're not dead, huh? So just because I'm not dead doesn't mean I'm not alive. <laughs> Titus has young timers. Dave. Hey, man, way to go, bringing up her poor dead grandson. I am her dead grandson. <laughs> You've got the reef for madness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
don't you leave her alone? Yeah, pick up someone your own size. Dave. <laughs> Sorry, peer pressure. Take it down in the back. Too much noise. Yeah, man, back off granny. It's okay. Titus, these young kids, I know how to talk to them. Hey. <laughs> What's up with that Harriet Tubman, yo? <laughs> She was like the bomb diggity. <laughs> and you're the white dorkity. <laughs> Stay here, we're gonna call dad. Make sure she doesn't teach naked. <laughs> you know, when I see someone's parents needing constant care like little children, well, I feel the same way that everybody else does, you know. Woo! Thank God it ain't me! <laughs> I think I'm going to the movies, you know why? I got time. Hey, hey, oh, not you. You got old people to wash. <laughs> Doesn't that feel better, Papa? I'm dirty all over. Uh, <laughs> really dirty. Hey, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Wussy! Can't you handle anything? Well, I, I think I handled the death of my grandmother pretty well. No, you didn't. You whined for weeks. Didn't even bother to go to the funeral. Well, Dad, I didn't go to the funeral because she's alive in there! Teaching a class, giving a lecture. American presidents, pimps of the free world. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here. I will handle this. You can't even get an old woman back to a nursing home. Uh, dead old woman, Dad. Dead. And remember me, your dead son? Do you want to explain any of this? Oh. And speak into this ear because this is the one that wasn't carried out to sea by rats. <laughs> a guy can dream, can't he? Oh. <laughs> why did you tell me she was dead? And why did you tell her I was dead? Why, Dad? Why? 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 All right! <laughs> I'll tell you! The truth is, I had another son who was killed by rats and crabs, oh. and I didn't want you to be hurt. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Dad! Now get out of here! This is none of your business. Wait! Adam and I could have surfed together. He could have taught me how to play the piano. Dave, stop. I bet Adam would have let me sleep with Aaron. <laughs> hey, no way. Aaron never would have went out with Adam because... Yeah. There's no Adam! <laughs> Don't you sully his memory! <laughs> what does she have on you, old man? Look, I was protecting you. Protecting me? Well, when did that start? And where did it go? <laughs> All right, why don't you just get your wussy ass home? I'm gonna have to handle her, and she's gonna cry. And then you'll cry. It'll be a bunch of women crying. All right, that's it. You know what, I'm tired of your cry out here. Oh, oh, sorry, hello, Mom. Oh, Kenneth. I thought I smelled a loser. <laughs> well, talk to me. What is it? Well... Spit it out. Come uh, on, speak. I mean, bark if you can. Mom. Mommy. Oh, look, when you can form a complete sentence, I'll be in there. <laughs> and stand up straight! Yes, ma'am. Oh. oh, my God! You were right, Dad, but I only see one woman crying. Dave, you know what? Uh, what, Titus? My instinct tells me that Dad is afraid of Grandma. <laughs> oh, I need my grandma in my life. She's coming over every day. I may let her share my room. <laughs> or not. Dad, speechless? I like it. Bark, can you do that? <laughs> Listen! Oh, hey! Oh, Grandma! <laughs> you don't know her. She is mean and cruel and hateful. But if you want her, you got her. <laughs> oh, was Grammy hard on poor Daddy? <laughs> Wussy!
<laughs> hey, man, you better get used to that, because you're going to be hearing it a lot from me. <laughs> wussy. Oh, wussy, 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 wussy. <laughs> but not from me. Son, you do not know what you're dealing with here. She will crush your self-esteem. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> Every kid's sweet sweater knitting grandma was that kid's father's belt swinging terror. Oh, to be there and watch my dad get the crap beat out of him by the same woman who always had hard candy in her pocketbook stuck to a used Kleenex. <laughs> Kenny, go get mommy's iced tea. I never tire of that. <laughs> I don't even like iced tea. <laughs> what are you doing? She sent me to the principal. Dad, you know what? You're more afraid of her than I am of you. Oh, yeah? Uh, don't push me in the locker. <laughs> oh, 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 see? See? Is this any way to live? No. Okay, well, then I, I bet you got stuff you want to say to her, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, she's old and, and she's in and out. You know, this could be your last chance to say it. Yeah, Dad. It, it just feels right. The lockers, the school, it's Sloppy Joe Day. <laughs> Carpe diem! <laughs> yeah, Dad. Carpe diem. <laughs> Carpe diem. Yeah. 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 So when are you going to do it? Soon. What? When? <laughs> now. All right. Just turn and push. Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, go, man. Go. Yeah. Or pull. <laughs> the important part is turn. <laughs> This could be Dad's most humiliating moment ever. <laughs> and this is what you don't want to become, a big failure. <laughs> Come on, Mom, I need to talk to you. And tell me you're a failure? I already know that. How much plastic did you sell today, boy? <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk, Mom. No, 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 Dad, Dad, last chance, okay? You don't want her to die knowing that she can kick your ass, do you? <laughs> Mom! What, quitter? Well, Mom... Well, spit it out, Zero, or is that too much for you? <laughs> zero, that's less than one. <laughs> You're doing good work. This is part of the process. Go on, talk, failure. <laughs> Say something. Look, I have a class to teach. I don't want these kids to grow up like you. I'm not a failure. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Oh, you spend all your money and you waste it on booze and whores, just like your father did. Oh, she's like an angel from heaven. Yeah. <laughs> You're a terrible father. No wonder these boys hate you. They have a right to. Do you hate me, boy? Well, just not right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, they do. They hate you. Hey, you don't know me from Adam, remember? Adam? I... <laughs> I still feel him. <laughs> of course you hate him. He is useless as a son, as a man, as a father. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, he was a pretty good father, all right? And yes, he sold plastic, and that wasn't his dream. But he did it so he could put food on the table and pay for his drinking. <laughs> and when my mom left, he found me five other mommies. <laughs> Quitter? Oh, I say hero. <laughs> you crinkly little dwarf. <laughs> oh, you think you got backbone, boy? That's because you've never crossed me. <laughs> well, bring it on, Graham Graham. You're nuts! Just like your mother. I have just two words for you. Shock therapy. <laughs> Dad, Graham, Graham, bad. <laughs> all, right, all right, that is it. You know something, Mom? You have abused me my whole life, but you do not abuse my son. Yeah, he does that. Yeah. <laughs> and you drove my father to booze and women. I did not. He drove himself. I was at home with you. 
I didn't have a car! <laughs> Mom, Mom, all right. It is my turn now. I have been waiting to say this to you my whole life! Well, who are you? And why are you yelling at me? Well, I'm your son. My son? Oh. Well, then I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Mom. Watch her, I'll go get the car. Yeah. Push. <laughs> Teach him to ignore his mother. This whole time you've been faking it? Faking what? Who are you? I'm George Washington, Grandma. Whoremonger. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You know, I have a son, and uh, Kenneth's a nice boy, and he just had a baby. Named them Christopher. Oh, <laughs> really? I hate that name. <laughs> I need a shower. <laughs> Humans are born small, weak, and helpless. That's why we have family. And the elders of the family are the honored guardians of our country's history. Unfortunately, in America, we, you know, lock those elders away out of view in nursing homes and go about our little lives. It's a great national shame and an irredeemable tragedy. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.